And People are pouring in from regions of the Middle East. We have no idea who they are, where they come from, what they're thinking, and we're going to stop that dead, cold flag. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Women's rights, when it comes to torture and the treatment of minorities, President Trump is already descending down a very dangerous slope. Secretary knows that this policy is counterproductive, immoral, and wrong. His attitude and his approach. This is not a UK policy, nor is it not our policy, nor is it a measure that this government would consider. just about the impact on British citizens. Yes. One of our closest allies has chosen to ban refugees and target Muslims. Yes. And all he can say is that, well, it wouldn't be our policy. Yes. That is not good enough. Yes. Has he urged the US administration to lift this order, yes. to help refugees, and to stop targeting Muslims. Yeah. This order was signed on Holocaust Memorial Day. Which makes it For the so sake of history, for heaven's sake, have the guts to speak out. Yeah. The Holocaust didn't start with the gas chambers, and only days after Holocaust Memorial Day, the parallels are clear. Underneath the stairs, when two fascist dictators, Mussolini and Hitler, were raining bombs on towns and cities in Britain. Now this government, uh, hand in hand with another fascist, Trump, and what I say to him, do the decent thing and ban the visit. This man is not fit to walk in the footsteps of Nelson Mandela. I do find it distasteful, distasteful to make comparisons between the elected uh, leader of a great democracy, the uh, elected leader of a great democracy, and 1930s tyrants. If we want to be a global leader, this government needs to show global leadership. Where is it?